Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. I recently did a video, in fact, it was only yesterday, about not blaming the team and looking more into yourself and your gameplay and trying to see what you may have done wrong or, alternatively, what you could have done better. To be fair, I got quite a few comments on that video, not just in YouTube, but also on Discord. Most of those comments were pointing out that in many cases, the teams are so bad that it actually can't be ignored. And as such, it's understandable to blame them. Okay, I'm not saying those comments are wrong. In fact, in quite a fair many cases, they may be totally correct. But I want to address the actual reasoning behind my video yesterday. Now Blitz is both a team game and a test of individual skills. Yeah, it really is. Now, it's easy for any of us to point fingers in general directions. Of course it is. And in a lot of cases, it's really understandable and undoubtedly correct. You may lose games because your team literally sat in the spawn and as such, there's nothing you can do about that. And I totally and utterly understand where you're coming from. Thing is, and, and this is the thing, the main point I was trying or attempting to get across in my video yesterday is that none of us can actually change the skill level, or the decision-making process, or the experience of another player. We only have control over ourselves. It really is that simple. Personally, I would like to think that most players, at least I would think that almost all of those sub to me, have an intention to improve and get better. I would like to think that my role, opinionated as it is, is not to dictate to anybody, but to offer guidance so that we can improve and we can also have some enjoyment along the way. Look, I'm not some super duper unicorn or an amazing player, but I do really enjoy the game and I myself, even as an old fart, seek to improve both my overall gameplay and general attitude when and where I can. I try my very best to look into myself to see where I messed up and what I can improve and more importantly, what I need to do to continue to have fun. I totally get that not everyone is like me, nor are they likely to be, and we all have different attitudes and different views towards a great many things. However, there is one thing that unifies all of us, and that is we only have control over ourselves, and that really is the point. It is we that we need to change first. It is we who need to decide what it is we actually want from the game and we have zero control over things like the MN, the teams or even the RNG. So we can only focus on what we can actually affect and there's only one thing, ourselves. Now, now, now I know a lot of people are upset with the state of the game, with the tear rushing, the inexperienced players doing questionable things uh, that lead to losses and, of course, gives a rise to toxicity because that flows from that. The thing is, and I really want you to step outside and consider this, let's say you are a 55% win rate player, which is incredibly good indeed, and you have 12,000 battles on the about. Now, it's easy for such a player to consider a 45% win rate player with 6,000 battles to be a liability to a team and no doubt many of us do. Now consider this. A 65% win rate player with 24,000 battles. Would you say it's equally fair of them to consider the 55% win rate player with half the battles that they have in the same vein as the 55% win rate player would look at the 45% win rate player? No doubt those of you sat on 55% would disagree. How dare the 65% win rate player look down on me? Yet, I bet, deep down, it's okay for us to think 
about those whose stats appear to be less able than our own. And that's really what I'm trying to change. Us, or the players. I'm attempting to make you think outside the box, as they say in NBA speak, to cast off your preconceptions and to concentrate on yourself first and foremost. Try to see past the bad players, the awful MM and teams, and look at the thing that's most important, you. I get that many may disagree with my approach, and I accept that, but I can assure you that my only intention is for you to improve and to have fun whilst doing so, because I seriously strongly believe that that's the whole idea of the game improving and having fun. Nothing more than that. Yes, I'm opinionated. Of course I am. And yes, yeah, sometimes I don't even practice what I preach. But I do my very best to try and improve the flaws that I have. And oddly enough, I have found that I still enjoy the game. And I still have fun. Okay. Occasionally I get miffed at the teams, the players, and of course the RNG. But that's now becoming less and less as I try to search for, for what makes the game enjoyable to me. And that was really the essence of my video yesterday. It wasn't to say that the teams are perfect and that there's no blame associated to them. But I can't change that and nor can you. You cannot change the teams. You cannot change the players in your team. You, you have no control over it. The only thing you have control over is yourself. And believe me, because I personally have experienced this, if you yourself work on improving, then you will improve. Anyway, I just wanted to point out the reasoning behind that video yesterday. As I said in the video, we cannot truly alter the makeup of the team or the skills of others. We can only control and therefore affect ourselves. Personally, I have grown to be a better player. Yes, of course, I'm still new, but I am improving. And believe me, if I can do it, so can each and every one of you. Anyway, I've been fooded. I just wanted to explain my video yesterday because I did have a fair few comments and I just wanted to get the point across of what I was trying or attempting to do. By all means, comment and everything below. And guys, remember, it is a game. So until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because yeah, it's a catchphrase, but there's nothing better than having fun being happy.